everyone. This is one of my older dog friends here. Now she's kind of sad because she's all alone. I, I want her in the home. I want her to stay in a shelter forever. Roman is a very caring child. We got very lucky. He's very empathetic and compassionate and also incredibly driven. I don't think dogs should just be in a shelter. They need to do things. He wanted to do everything he could to make it right. So we gotta go pick out your dog? Billy's yeah. still here. Billy is still here. Can we visit with him, please? So we just kind of came in and started making videos. This is my friend Mochi. <laughs> He's pretty crazy. He tends to kind of fight for the underdog. So if it's a dog that comes across a little more defeated, that is who he gravitates to. He's a born dog whisperer. He chooses typically our older dogs or the ones who have been here the longest. He works with the pets that are hard to place. He's a drooling machine. Yeah, he's a drooling machine. He spends time with them, he gets to know them, he does a video with them. That's your sweet boy, Bill. People love him, they share him. He has gotten every dog he has done a video on adopted. He's just my little snuggle bug. I don't think he realizes his capacity, but when he finds out that a dog has been adopted or when he gets to see an adoption actually happen, he lights up like a Christmas tree. It's pretty exciting. Project Freedom Ride is a little unique. It's when we transport dogs from places that have high kill shelters and we transport them up to Washington or Idaho. We'll be fine. <laughs> Give me a kiss. And then they'll usually get homes there. Project Freedom Ride has saved a little over 1,200 dogs and 40 something cats. Every time he has videos that kind of take off, that people gravitate to, it brings us more following, more support. He is the lifeblood of Project Freedom Ride. Without him, there's no way we would have survived. Roman just found his niche in the world very early on.